going on everybody it's mr cinema junkie here i'm up late it's 2 45 in the morning i got nothing going on Just watching a movie grab myself a little something to eat bored it's just mad randomness checking out everybody's videos i see god horror got some extra sweet stuff in the mail that phantasm collection which just kicks all kinds of ass and that German Texas Chainsaw Massacre edition. I was trying to translate that what it says there. I know I, I wanted to say the original, the original masterpiece, original nightmare. I don't, I don't know. Obviously, it's original something. Das original doesn't doesn't take a big stretch to kind of to to say what that means. But the other part I couldn't really make out. Oh well. Anybody speak German? Check out his video. <clears throat> oh. oh, what's on my mind? Anybody care? I'll tell you what's on my mind. Capsicas. What the hell is up with those? You've made one too many remarks, so now you have to do a capsica to prove you're a real person. Uh, all right. <laughs> do they do they make you do that if you do too many thumbs down? And here's a better question. Why don't they have something in place? If they're going to make me prove that I'm not a computer by doing these damn captchas because I've commented on three or four videos already, then how about they put something in, in place that proves that you know the person if you're thumbing them down or... You know, prove prove that you that you're not just trolling. There's got to be something they could do for that. And then with their damn made up words, and I mean, I know it's supposed to like throw computers and, and bots and stuff, but shit, it, it throws human beings too. Now spell this word, and then they have it blended together with the I looks like part of the N, and it's a it's an I and an R, but it looks like an N, and and I'm like, well, you know, nope, got it wrong. At least they let you try over and over. Stupid. <sighs> Once again, just bored. Uh, got a DVD in the mail today from Netflix. Probably going to check that out. Another French deal. I think it's called Everyday Trouble. It's about cannibalism. So, looking forward to watching that. Cannibal movies don't bother me. It's just the idea of cannibalism. Does it... Excuse me. doesn't bother me. It just... It weirds me out that... That there are people out there... Who live in... Civilized society... Who crave human flesh. Is that odd? Because, you know... If they crave it, and they fulfill it, how are they fulfilling it? Do they work in a place that gives them access to human flesh? I wonder how many times, because, you know, one time, I used to do security a long time ago. And uh, one of the places that I was assigned to was a, a clinic, a medical tower. And the medical tower was part of a hospital. You have the main hospital, and you have these two other buildings with doctor's offices and stuff in there. So I was security at one of the, the medical towers. And um, I was friends with some of the security guards at the main hospital. We had two different, two different security forces. I am sorry if I'm making everybody on. I'm sorry. But uh, I was friends with some of the other guards, and uh, one time I was doing my rounds, and I ran into one of the one of the guys at the at the hospital. He was doing his rounds. He said, hey, what you doing over there? And I'm like, oh, not much, man. Everything's going okay. He said, hey, you want to go have a cup of coffee? Said, sure, why not? It was late, you know. So I went over to the hospital side, and, and he we grabbed a cup of coffee, and I was drinking. And he goes, you want to see something trippy? I'm like, sure. 
he was an older guy, you know, maybe 45, 50 years old. Nice guy. And he showed me the morgue. I had never been in a morgue before. And there was nobody in it, of course. But there was a table. And up on a shelf was like a bucket. Clear, kind of semi-clear bucket. And from where I was standing, it looked like there was a bunch of like eyeglasses and stuff in there. I don't know what the heck was in there, but as I looked at it closer, it was just the shapes that it was making. It actually was the intestines sitting in a bucket. And I was like, wow, what a trip. Organs and stuff. So then he showed me the refrigerators, which right there, there was four refrigerators. And he, he looked in it real slowly. He goes, okay, these are empty. Check these out if you want. And I'm like, okay. So he opens it up, and there's the trays that the bodies are on. And they had just been cleaned, but somebody had just done a real quick job because there was, like, some residue in the corners, like body fluid, watered-down blood and stuff. That's kind of, yeah. So then he goes down to the, the bottom refrigerator. Ugh, ugh. I hate when I do this. I really hate when I do this. Uh, he goes to the bottom refrigerator and he looks in there and he goes, oh, you, you're going to want to check this out. And he opens it up and there's all these bags in there. I'm like, what's with the bags? And he said, oh, those are, those are body parts. Those are like arms or feet uh, from amputations, legs. I'm like, what do you have them down there for? Apparently, if you get your arm or something amputated, you can claim it still. You know, maybe you want to burn it, bury it, uh, cremate it. It's up to you. Or you could just have them dispose of it. Sorry. So, that kind of tripped me out. And the reason I'm bringing that up now is because I wonder, you know, are there people, cannibals in the medical field who are like, oh, no one's claimed this arm, I think I'll take it home. Slow roast it in the oven. Or make steak tartare out of it. <sighs> now I was just checking out some stuff online about zombie survival. Did you know that K-Bar, they make knives, military knives. They have a line of zombie knives. Uh, one, one in particular was a machete. It has two different handles, like a, a hazard green it's like neon, and then just flat black. But it's a solid machete. It's very practical. But I like the way they market it under a zombie title. Because you know all the enthusiasts who, who think that a zombie apocalypse is inevitable. Would love to get their hands on something like that. Oh, it's going to be me. Machete, pistol, and a whole bunch of hand sanitizer. Me against the world. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm sorry about all the yawning and stuff. I'm just bored. I'm so bored right now. Um, I may check out Skype, see what's going on over there real quick. Anybody else got Skype? Just wondering. Okay, guys, take it easy. This is a short, random video. Sorry. Bye, guys. Talk to you later.